This customer thinks he's going to be able to heat and cool his home with these solar panels, this battery system, but no air source heat pump. What's it all about? Give me that camera. Why am I so bad at it? You've not used the gas boiler this year. I'm being a total idiot. I'm not going to lie, it's an out there idea. Today we are in Luton. Now, this customer reached out to us because he saw a video that we did on the channel about air conditioning and we were talking about how you can use it to both cool but you can use it to heat your property. Anyway, it turns out he actually had air conditioning installed a couple of years ago and it got him thinking, if I can heat my whole home with aircon, I can cool it in summer and I'm going to go for solar anyway, why do I need a gas boiler? So, he contacts Heatable, he gets a solar quote, he books an install, and then he's talking about how is this going to work, and we said, look, we'll come down, let's go through it together, let's do the maths, can you do it, is it cheaper than running a gas boiler, and does it actually work? Let's find out today. Now, Alex, you're going to go and see the customer, maybe go and look at all these air conditioning units. Sophie, let's go and look at this install. Brilliant, love going up there. Go. You're going to get East Generation, South Generation, and it's going to be the West. West Generation. Right, let's start on the easy one. This is the rear single story extension. Now, orientation, six panels, West facing. So these are going to get the sort of evening, afternoon sun. But we want some morning sun too. So we've got the East Elevation. Now, we've got three panels over here. You're not going to come up here, are you? Give me that camera. Come with me. Right, I'm not sure if I'm actually getting these in, but we've got three panels here in portrait. That's on the east elevation. They can carry my first child down here. It's so expensive, this camera. Right, that's about 2.7 kilowatts of peak power over here and 1.4 on that easterly elevation. But it doesn't end there, there is more up here. So come with me. Bosh, El Bash. Whilst we're on the roof, Alex is going to go meet Jonathan and check out all of those AC units. Right, let's go find Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. How are you doing, mate? You okay? Nice to meet you. Your plan is to heat your home with. Only AC, no radiators. That's correct. Okay. Why don't we have a quick whip around and have a look at some of these AC units you've got up? Perfect. Yeah? We have six units all together. We have one in the kitchen here. One in the kitchen. We have one in the downstairs bedroom. There it is. Right. There's more. We have one in the main living room. Another one there. We've no. actually got some upstairs More as upstairs. Well. Okay, let's do it. Meanwhile. Why am I so bad at it? I can't, I can't remember short term numbers. We've got these five here. Now, five panels facing due south. So we're going to get middle of the day so we're going to get the end of the day because it's not obstructed really. And that's another 2.3 kilowatt of potential power for here on the west elevation. <laughs> one point eight kilowatt peak potential so all added up together that is he said eight point three let's go and check out the battery before we do that though let's just have a quick look at how all that power gets down there now those power cables off that roof run all the way down here. This is AC current and it all comes to this section. Now the reason it's here is on the opposite side of this wall is the battery system. Something else that's coming out of here is the earth rod. When we go off grid with that gateway, we lose the grid's earth. We need our own earth and it is in that box right in the ground, connected to that battery along with those power cables. I'm off to check that battery. Meanwhile, Alex is carrying on with that AC tour. So these are the children's bedrooms. So we have one here. We have one in here. One in there. Oh, there's the other one, yeah. That's Number the other five. one. Final one, my daughter's bedroom, just here. 
This is our battery system. We're midway through install, hence cables and stuff everywhere. But anyway, it's the SIG Energy SIG install. Now, 19.2 kilowatt hours. We've got two 9.1 kilowatt hour modules. We've got the six kilowatt inverter. Different on this job though, we are not wiring DC from that roof straight into the inverter. We are AC coupled. We've got those M phase microinverters. Something else that's also on this job, the brand new home max gateway this is literally come out this week i think it's the first one we've actually installed there's going to be a separate video on the channel make sure you subscribe otherwise you'll miss that i'm not gonna lie it's an out there idea let's go meet ben and let's just see what he thinks of it and how viable it actually is to heat your home with ac rather than a gas boiler right we need to get out of this space let the guys crack on with the install let's catch up with alex and jonathan and see what is the plan with this heating cooling electrified system right well cheers for that quick tour jonathan appreciate that jonathan how are we doing so i've been looking at your roof been looking at your battery i'm fascinated to hear about this plan tell me everything about it let's get the kettle on Ooh. Right, fantastic. So you've been around the house with Alex and you've been yeah. showing him all your air conditioning units. And when you got in touch with Heatable, obviously you were getting a solar, you were going to get a battery quote. But you mentioned something to Sophie, which was that you had this aircon installed a couple of years a ago. A few years ago. And you were using it for cooling. Yeah. You saw a video on our channel. Yeah. And you noticed it can do heating. heating. And since then, you've been using it to heat the house and you said before this year you've not because we're in november now you've not used the gas boiler this year not once only for the hot water because you've got a combi haven't you yeah but not for heating uh, whatsoever you use the heating from the air conditioning in winter it's then done cooling yes in the summer yeah and your gas usage, how much are you spending on gas now, roughly a day? So roughly we're spending under a pound a day and that's including the surcharge as well. Oh wow, okay, so you're doing a pound a day and that, so that pound I'm guessing is just the hot water for showers, because this is a pretty busy house this, isn't it? Yeah, we've got um, four children, so six, um, six, six people, people living household um, and less than a pound a day. What are you using right now for electricity? Um, we've recently introduced an EV, so we, we're looking at six and a half thousand um, kilowatt hours a year. Yes. And that, for, and, but that's with the aircon, isn't it? Yes, that, that's that, that, with. This has been in for a couple of years, hasn't it? A few years now. Six and a half thousand, right. Now I looked at your proposal before, 18 panels on the roof, annual production, 7,120 kilowatt hours estimated so we've got some headroom we've got some surplus but you've gone for the acm system with the microinverters yeah and we've got the separate battery is your plan charge this battery at night as well we want to be able to charge the battery up during night. The, the night the yeah. off-peak rate set the timers on the air conditioning that it can come on in that off-peak rate to heat the house and then um, we intend to use the battery throughout the day to maintain that heat. Um, to power those units. Yeah. So your solar might be doing some export, you're going to build up credit in yeah. summer because you're going to generate a lot of power here yeah. in summer. So the only bit we're adding in here really is a bit more heating because six and a half thousand kilowatt hours. <laughs> is that you? Do you know what that is, don't you? That's the pizza. Is it? <laughs> Anyway. Yes, yeah, so I was looking and your consumption, six and a half thousand, generation just over seven thousand. What's great about this, we've not got to try and work out how much the aircon's gonna to use to heat and cool, because it's already in that envelope. The bit I'm sort of really interested in is you've got a big system and you've got a lot of aircon. Like, is this possible on a smaller scale? You know, does it actually stack? Because those aircon units are super efficient, aren't they? Like, when they're on, the base load's gonna be pretty low anyway. They're Fujitsu, aren't they? Which is like quite a premium brand. So they're, they're gonna be really efficient. Can we make this work on a smaller scale? Like, if you had less panels, can you do away with that? Because this air-to-air -air 
phenomenon that's going on with air conditioning, heating, cooling, air cleaning, purification. I think people are starting to look at it as an alternative mm. to air source heat pumps. The only question mark is if you've got a combi, hot water, because you're going to have to have a tank somewhere. One of the calculations I can look at is, is there enough excess energy to even charge a tank? Or could we charge it in that off-peak window? So let's find out. I went away to do the math and then it dawns on me. <laughs> I've just realised. What? I'm being a total idiot. You're amazing. You figured this all out already. Yeah, I'm just checking this now, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use ChatGPT to do this, it's embarrassing. It is cheaper. Bear with me. Okay, the boiler is 90% efficient. The same cost on the boiler, because gas is costing six and a half pence a kilowatt anyway, just to buy, but it's less than 100% efficient. That equates to 7.22 pence. So even without the solar, it's 17% cheaper to heat the house with the aircon, and you can cool it. And you can work out what energy costs with solar. If you take the annual generation and times it by 25, so he's doing like 7,100 kilowatt hours a year, times it by 25, divide that by the cost of the system, it works out about, it's just under eight pence per kilowatt hour. That's what his energy cost is gonna be. If you use that to power the aircon, you with me here? Yeah. Right. Then it's 1.8 pence per kilowatt hour, which is 75% cheaper than using the gas. That's a big saving. It's a big problem. Why? Because how am I not going to look like an idiot now? We've gone away to do the math. Are you... That's all you. And with my pride taking such a big hit. Wow, right, let's go and tell him. I'm just going to have to play this cool, agree with his math, go along with it. I've checked. You were right. It took a while. I've been through the math and did all the sums myself. And um, you're spot on, so it is cheaper. I think it's a good idea. And I think that's pretty much, that's us, isn't it? I think we could look at this cake and then we'll, we'll get out of your hair, mate, yeah? Cool. Della idea from Jonathan there. Heating, cooling for free. Did I just say cake? Right, obviously I was messing around a little bit there. It is a really good idea. I'm actually a little bit jealous that I've not got air con in every room of my home because my gas boiler would be going. Now, we have got an extra little special thing for you right now because Jonathan and Nisha have gone the extra mile. They are so happy with their install that they have done us a cake. We've never had a heatable cake before, literally, even we've not done one for our own business. And they've put this on for us. We've got our sparkler, we've got the whole thing. And we just want to say thank you as much as you have thanked us because this has been a really good install. We've loved doing it. And this is literally the icing on the cake. We are pumped. Another install, another video. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a like. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and check, are you subscribed to the Heatable YouTube channel? Because if you're not, you could have missed this video and you'll definitely miss the next one. See you on there. Yeah, right, guys, just thought I'd tack this on at the end here. You saw that money, you won that money. I'm gonna tell you how to win it. Buy any boiler from Heatable between now and the 20th of December, you'll be automatically entered into our five grand cash giveaway. The first name to be picked out of the hat will be given four grand cash on the spot, and the two runners up will be given 500 pounds each. But if you buy any Worcester Bosch boiler, you'll be given double entries. That's twice the chance to win. So you were gonna buy a boiler anyway, why not get it now, bag yourself a bunch of cash, pay for Christmas.